Hi, this is Sean with Omi Energy, and today we're going to show you how to replace the HEPA filtration cartridges in your Tesla Model Y. This video is going to apply to any Tesla Model Y produced after around August 2021 when they transitioned to adding a big, big plastic uh, HEPA air intake system at the top of the uh, of the frunk here for just making the air that comes into your vehicle really, really clean. Doing this swap is really easy. You actually only need two tools, a uh, 10 millimeter socket and uh, you can put that on a, a tool like this, a power tool, to make it really quick and easy, but there's, there's really just two 10 millimeter bolts you need to remove. And then a uh, T15 or Torx 15 um, socket as well. And you can, you'll, you'll use that to actually open up the filter cassette cartridge. A lot of times uh, we might drop screws or, or bolts into, into this area, so it's a good idea to have some kind of a, a magnet. A uh, magnet on a stick works better. This is just a flashlight with a magnet on the bottom, but that's helpful. I mean, anything is potentially helpful if you drop something. Uh, ideally, you don't drop anything, and, and there's not that much risk here because there really is just two 10 millimeter bolts, and then you're gonna remove the whole cassette, and then you can do that somewhere else anyways. You don't have to, to swap the actual filter cartridges in place. In terms of safety, you really don't need anything with this, but uh, if, you, if you're really a good stickler for safety, I would suggest wearing some gloves. Um, just because you, you are working around some potentially sharp corners and, and such in the front of your vehicle there. The process for replacing these filters, you're gonna remove this plastic liner right here at the top, this trim, and it just pulls straight up on both sides. So you kind of pull one side up, get it loose, then go to the other side, pop that up, get it loose, and then you can remove that. Then underneath is gonna be the filter cassette cartridge, uh, and you'll remove one 10 millimeter bolt on this side and one 10 millimeter bolt on the other side. Then we'll kind of uh, work that cassette up and to the left here and just kind of watch out for the uh, wires that come through here. And then you'll be able to slide the whole thing out and then we'll open it, swap the filters, close it, put it back in, same thing in reverse. All right, we're gonna remove this top trim panel, which is very easy. You just pull up, you'll kind of hear it unsnap. There's a few more snaps, but I just did it on this vehicle so they weren't fully snapped. Um, so you'll hear more pops than what, what just happened here. Then we do it on this side, same thing. And then this, you can just remove this and set it to the side. Then we'll remove these two 10 millimeter bolts, one on either side. They're kind of long, but that's it for that side. And then we'll take the one off on the other side. Now that you've got the two bolts out, this filter, you'll this cassette, you kind of lift it up. You'll hear or feel the rubber gasket back here uh, pull out of the intake tube. Then you tilt it forward. This is the corner you gotta just kind of watch that you're not underneath this wire, uh, this wire loom so that you can come out with it. And you'll be able to kind of work it, work it up. Once you've got this side out, that side there really isn't any obstruction. So you're able to just kind of lift it up like that. Now we'll take this down to the ground somewhere and we'll remove all of these T15 screws and then we'll replace the filters inside. All right, there's a total of 10 screws you're gonna remove. They're all T15. You can use a power tool to accelerate the process, of course, still. All right, once you've got the 10 screws out, the top will actually just kind of come right off and then these are your filter cartridges so on top there's gonna be some carbon seeded um, filter media and then those ones just loosely sit in there and then below them is a is a pleated uh, filter media that's just um, a cassette that's got a good air seal all the way around it this one's rubber seal can be a little tight but you can kind of grab onto the frame here and pull it up and you should be able to take it right out it's not glued in or anything um, it's just a rubber seal around the edge. So we'll take those both out and then we'll put the new ones in and we'll do the same thing on both sides. All right, now let's go ahead and install the new filter cassette or set. It'll go in the same way the other one came out. 
the rubber seal is all that's going to hold it in place. The bottom one, just got to slide it all the way down so it is firmly and flat on the, uh, on the housing there. Then the top filter, there's a side that has a wider edge and a side that doesn't. The side with the wider edge goes on the top. And then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Now that you've got both sides replaced, just set the plastic top back in place and then reinstall all of the screws. To note, which is kind of weird, on this side, which is the driver's side, there is not a screw out on this side, but on the passenger side, there is. So if you're wondering why there's some asymmetry going on, uh, I don't know why, but that's there. there is some asymmetry. Now that you've got the whole thing re, uh, reinstalled with new filters, we'll go ahead and put it back in. This is gonna kind of be the opposite of the way that we took it out. Stay on the passenger side primarily, and then uh, you're gonna kind of put it in an angle this way, and then kind of shimmy it underneath this lip. And then once you get it far enough down to where this plastic lip here is in front of this plastic, then you'll be able to to rock it back down and then this seal will seal right inside of this air intake. Then you can put the two 10 millimeter bolts back in place. As you're putting it in, be cautious with these wire looms again. Make sure that they're on top of the filter and not getting caught underneath. Make sure you secure this side in with a little bit of pressure to make sure that it seats into that intake. Then we can reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts. Then the last step, we'll be putting this plastic trim piece back in the top section. So there's some debate I always find about whether or not to leave this tag exposed or hidden. I always vote for exposed as it was intended to be in design, but many installers uh, end up leaving these hidden. And even Tesla, a lot of the service techs leave them hidden as well. Not super critical, but that tag indicates where the cut loop is for the high voltage service. Um, so you can actually cut that red wire loop and that will disable the high voltage battery pack on the whole vehicle. Um, so it's a safety, it's a safety concern for like uh, first responders uh, in, if you get into an accident or something like that to disable the high voltage pack on the car. For installing this, you're just gonna push it down so that until you hear each of those little uh, white um, uh, clips push into its slot and you'll kind of hear them click as you go like that. You go all along the top. And then there's a couple in the front. In the center here, you can push. It's gonna be really difficult. I generally don't try to fully clip them because as you push, this front lip flexes. Uh, it's kind of a design flaw in these vehicles as far as getting those to clip goes. Um, so I just tend to leave them as they are. All right, so that's it. That's the whole process. It's very easy. It should only take you about 10, 15 minutes maybe if it's your first time. Um, I could probably do it quicker at this point. I haven't done it a bunch of times. Um, but it's, it's a very simple process. You should replace them about every two years, uh, depending on your climate, of course, where you live, how dusty it is, and how much recirculate versus fresh air you're doing in the cabin. Uh, this air cassette, this whole HEPA filtration system on these vehicles is all designed to filter the air coming into the cabin when you're doing a uh, non-recirculate mode <clears throat> and your climate control system. So if you really want to uh, fully use your filtration system in these vehicles, you should bring in fresh air uh, when, you're, when you're using them because that is when it pulls all the air through the big HEPA filtration cartridge. You can buy our filters online at omu.com. And of course you can bundle them with batteries as well, or you can buy them on their own. The support page, if you wanna, if you need to reach out to us ever, is uh, support.omu.com. And you can of course email us using support at omu.com if you ever have any questions or concerns. 
We hope you uh, enjoyed this video and now feel confident about replacing the HEPA filters in your Model Y Tesla. And of course, as always, enjoy your cars.